Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this weird gear mechanism in Solvox. So let's start. So as you can see I am in Solvox assembly mode. Now after that go to the design library, click on toolbox. Now click on NSI metric, click on power transmission, gears and we will select uh, what will that? spur gear. Simply drag and drop. Okay. So here we got our spur gear. So increase the number of teeth as per your requirement. But I think this specification is fine for me. Click OK. After that, click on close. Select this face. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Go to the sketch. Click on sketch. After that, uh, click on where is that? Convert entities. As you can see, this sketch uh, get converted entities. Now press Ctrl A, press Ctrl C to copy the sketch. Click OK. Go here, exit the sketch mode. Click on here, click on new part. Select the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Now press Ctrl V. After that, go to the features. Click on extrude. Uh, let's say extrude up to. Uh, 50 mm. Click OK. A question as your mind what is the point of you know importing this if I am going to make gear like this? So here is the thing I am going to do some modification, for example, extrusion cut or something. So if I do any changes with this gear, it will you know destroy my library of that. It happened to me a lot of times, so that is the reason I don't want to take a risk, and especially those are beginners. Don't do any kind of modification with these kits, uh, with these libraries. Okay, if you do, you will going to regret it. So, personal advice: don't do that. So after that, right click on it and delete because I don't want it now anymore. Uh, so delete this sketch uh, because we don't need anymore. Like our parents who don't need us. Now select this face, click on sketch, and draw a circle here. Uh, give it whatever you want. Let's say 10 mm. Go here and click on extrude cut. Click on to all. Click OK. And after that, what I'm going to do is select the top plane. Click on sketch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two lines. Uh, before that, let's draw a center line. Just simply draw a line. Select this and make sure it's horizontal. Now zoom in and coincide with this line. After that, go here, click on midpoints, draw the line like this, and select this and click on construction geometry because it's for just construction purposes. And let's some give let's give it some angles. Let's say it is 45 degree. After that, click on offset, select this, uh, click on bidirectional, uh, let's say 5 mm, click OK and extend these lines. Okay, now what we are going to do is go here and draw a line like this. Similarly, draw a line like this. Uh, notice that this line is not touching it. So what I can do? So click on here, click on extra entities, select this, and voila, it's done. Now click on trim entities and trim this line. So this is a new command I think for some guys. So if you learn something new, make sure like subscribe and share this channel. Edit um, because it motivates me to create more and better content like this. Now click on a cut, and I think that's look great. Okay, so exit the assembly component mode. Now what I need is that I need to create a uh, slender here. So let's see. Uh, before I do that, just go to the edit feature. Okay, select the part, click on it feature. I just want to see how much I extrude it. So go to the extrusion. So I extrude up to 50 mm. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this front plane, click on sketch, 
and draw a circle here and click on extrude and extrude up to 50 mm click ok and exit the disabling component mode now what i'm going to do is select the top plane click on sketch draw a center line as i'm showing select this line make it vertical exit the sketch mode now click on here click on view temporary axis uh, now click on mate select this axis okay i select the line so select the face and i need to select a line now so i'll just hide these view temporary axis they are useless for me click on concentric click ok select this face and select the front plane click ok after that a question is so how much distance i need to place this gear again so what you can do is by pressing ctrl and right click on your mouse drag this part ok now select this face press ctrl plus 8 uh, move this upward so what i am going to do is go to the mate Click on view temporary axis, select the center line, and I think it's the top plane. Select the top plane, click OK. So they are on the same plane, uh, that is basically one thing I want. And what other thing I want to do is select this face and this face, click OK. Now select this line. And this line so now I need to enter the distance so enter the value 25 a question is how I know that it is 25 okay so I don't know you remember or not but when I bought this gear this gear has a module of 1 mm and number of teeth is 25 so with that you can I think calculate it module is 1 number of teeth is 25 so I get a diameter of uh, 25 mm okay so from this point to this point is 12.5 mm from this point to this point is 12.5 mm so total distance is 25 simple math and i think science 5 if you face simple dif uh, some difficulty i highly recommend read theory of machines book about gears uh, it is very simple concept uh, nothing you know rocket science now select this face press ctrl plus 8 so before i make them gear so select this as you can see they are not correctly matching now i think this let's see how can i i think these gears now this this is the perfect one that aligns yeah this looks perfectly fine so select this face press ctrl plus 8 uh, if you have learned about you know gears then you know that they have something called gear ratios so in my case both gear have same number of teeth so it doesn't matter even i know number of teeth or not since they both gears have same teeth and module so its gear ratio is one okay simple nothing so go to the mechanical go to the gear i am not going to select this gear i am simply going to select the circle why because my gear uh, you know my gear ratio is one so it doesn't matter but all I need is same values here that's all click ok so if I rotate it yeah I'm getting the animation it looks great to me is it now let's do the animation thing so how can I animate it so go to the motion study click on here motor select this let's say go to distance enter the value of uh, 720 degree uh, the time is 0 second and total duration of the animation is 5 seconds ok click ok now currently it is animation and the fps is quite low so let increase the fps to 30 i am not going to increase to 60 because my computer will burn down so yeah i have some mercy on my computer uh, this now let's look for the some cool views where it looks great this one i like nah.
so I think this face this loop is okay so if I click on calculate you can see the animation is running just click on playback mode just to know it look like it's oscillating but in reality it's not oscillating it's just how these gear look like so it's not like so if, suppose if I select this phase and press ctrl plus 8 and click on play uh, wait a minute just go here and right click on disable sorry uh, right click on here and disable playback this is a quite you know boring thing so click on play so if I select this face and press ctrl plus 8 and go back here I click on play you can see how does it look like uh, I think the animation speed is quite fast so let's reduce it so go to the edit feature instead of 700 let's enter the value of 360 degrees and move this back to before I do something let's move it back to here go to edit feature and enter the value of distance 360 degree click ok and calculate Let's increase this timeline to 10 seconds and this one as well. 10 seconds and go to the motor. Uh, before I apply something, let's move back. Edit feature. So 360 and the duration is 10 seconds. Click OK and FPS is 30. Fine. Let's go to the basic motion, you know, a little bit. So click on calculate it will take some time so keep calm now animation looks more smooth and good okay so if i click on play now you can see you can easily visualize that hey that it is not you know oscillating so this is looks fine now so click on here click on the eye to hide things so if I go to you know top top plane, press Ctrl plus eight. So this is how it looks like. Yeah, that's for all. This is uh, just you want to see the animation. So this that's for all. So if you have any kind of doubts, inquiries, feel free to ask. And make sure guys that you like, subscribe, and share my new channels. A uh, link in description. You will learn a lot of things about engineering. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.